Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we are going to make CSS loader as you can see that in the screen. It's a nice loading effect as you can see that with this loading effect the color of the stroke is changing as you can notice and we can achieve it with a few lines of CSS and HTML and let's see how we can make it. So as you can see that here is my HTML file and here is my CSS file. So in the HTML file, let's create a boilerplate and here let's give it the title of CSS loader. And in the div, let's create a, so in the body, let's create a div with a class of container. And here in the container, we will have our div with a class of loader wrapper and here what we will have our svg which will be a circle so in the svg so let's create the svg sorry yeah so here what we need is i need a class also the class will be loader and here I will have a view box so it will be view box will be 0 and 0 and also 100 and 100 so it will be 100 by 100 loader circle so here let's have a circle so let's say circle uh, somehow my emit is not working so let's come here and say circle what the hell is going on so that's fine so here what we need is I don't need this closing so here what you need is I need a class of path so let's say but and here what we need is cx which will be the center so let's say 50 and also cy and let's say 50 and also radius for r and here we will have 20 and let's say fill will be none so it will be uh, empty field circle so after that let's give it a stroke let's say a stroke width let's say 2 that will create some stroke and after that let's have a stroke meter limit and give it a value of 10 and if I save and open it with our live server and here it is let me set the things here so if I come here and say that and inspect it as you can see that here is our SVG and we can't see our path right now and here as you can see that we, our circle is there okay so that's fine so let's link our style sheet so let's here style.css and in the style.css so in the css first of all let's come here and say that container and in the container let's say that height will be 100 vh and width will be 100 percent and also said display will be flex and align items will be center and justify content will be center and we can't see it and after that let's come here and loader 
and the loader let's come to the loader wrapper actually and here let's say height will be 100 pixel and width will be 100 pixel and also say position will be relative and if I give it a background color I think we can see that so that's it our background and that's our loader wrapper and if I make it a uh, comment we can't see it because there is no background color now now let's come to the loader and here what I need is I need to say that position will be absolute and let's say that height will be 100% and width will be 100% and also say left will be 0 and top will be 0 and also that's fine and after that let's come to the actual path and here what I need is I need to say that a stroke color will be black you can set any color as you can see that we have this black stroke color and here what I need is I need to say that so first of all let me show you and if I come here in the loader and give it a background color let's give it a background color of this color and as you can see that here is our circle and if I come here and say that I want CX instead of 50 and as you can see that now it is now in left 0 and off so if you come here and it will be in the top 0 so that's if I come here and 50% 50% it is in now middle and also we can increase our radius size and it will increase the circle size actually so that's fine and also if I come here and say that in the path I can say that a stroke dash array which is 1 and 250 and we can't see anything if I say that 200 also we can't see anything if I say that it will be 80 and here let's give it a color more number like that 15 then we can see our sum of circle and so as you can see that we can see more our circle so that's the idea how we can animate the circle so we will change the dash array in the animation so for now let's give it 1 and 150 so that in the initial state it will be 0 and what also we can do is we can say that a stroke offset yeah that's a stroke offset and which will be 0 also for the initial state if we can increase 100 and let me remove that as you can see that now it is in 100 and if I gave it 80 and also come here and let's come here and let me show you what I mean here so that's the without our dash array and if I come here and say minus 18 as you can see that it's moving so as you can see that it's moving and also with that we can animate it if I increase or decrease the number it will rotate the dash array so if let me say that 150 minus 115 now you can see that it's rotating the and changing the size so for now let's give it 0 and here also 0 so in the initial state and there will be nothing and let's create the animation actually with the dash array and dash offset so for that let's create keyframes let's say keyframes and give it a dash name so dash animation so because we are making animation with the dash array and dash offset so let's give it that name and here in the 0% let's say that our stroke dash offset will be 0 and stroke dash array will be 1 and 250 which is the initial one and in the 50% what we need is I need to say that it will be 
stroke hmm. stroke dash offset will be about minus 35 percent sorry pixel and also stroke dash array will be 95 and 250 and after that let's come here and say 100 percent and say that stroke dash array will be 95 and 250 and let's say that a stroke dash array not dash array dash offset i think yeah minus 124 pixel and if i save and let's apply this in the, our path so let's say that animation animation will be the name which is the dash animation and here what i need to say that it will be 1.5 seconds animation and is timing function and initial sorry infinite so as you can see that here is our kind of moving circle so let's also rotate that so for that let's create another keyframes so like that keyframes rotate and here in 100% it will say transform rotate 360 degree and let's come here and apply this in the loader so come here and say that animation will be the rotate and here what I need to say that transform so not transform rotate it will be line kind of 1.5 second as same as our path animation and is and also infinite so now as you can see that our rotation is working so let's also come here and say that transform origin will be center and center so that's looking fine so let's also remove the background color we don't need it yeah that's looking fine we can change this dash array and offset number to get our own kind of animation so after that let's change the color actually so we can have color moving animation so that's all so let's say that color and here in the hundred percent and also zero percent so let's say that I need the stroke color in red so let's say that in 40 percent it will be a stroke color let's say blue no, actually light blue let's say that light blue and in the 60 percent let's say that stroke will be pink or purple and in the 80 percent let's say that it will be green so a stroke green yellow green and in the 90 percent let's say that it will be our yellow and that's fine and let's apply this in the path and here let's give it a comma and give it our color it will be let's say that eight second so is and infinite now as you can see that we have this loading color going on so we can change the color animation timing so that we have a perfect thing going on so that's fine you can change the color as you want okay i think we should get some more 
tip color so if i save now as you can see that it's changing color with the animation so as you can see that it's working and but it's something is missing is if i come here and say that the radius will be 20 so it will fit our animation perfectly because earlier i set it for the radius 20 and for the dash array and dash offset is perfectly fine for this size of circle if we if i increase the size of circle we need to also reset our point which is dash array and dash offset so that's fine for now you can play with the number dash array and dash offset to make your own kind of loader and also resize the circle so that's it guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you are new to my channel and if you want more this kind of video don't forget to subscribe the channel and give it a thumbs up and my name is Arfan and